the project Flood Zone um, started in 2016 when I was moving away from um, studio um, studio based art into observational photography, and it happens very much in response to a place. I moved to Miami in 2016. It was the hottest summer on record. And just to process my new location, um, to understand the place, I got out of my studio and went photographing, just speculatively, um, noticing strange things along the way and pausing to record my um, observations at the same time aiming to communicate my feelings. Um, and I would say the predominant feeling was anxiety. I realized that um, this extensive puddles of water were actually salt water that was surrounding my, um, my car in the street in Miami Beach. Um, I saw signs of mold growing in buildings, signs of eroding infrastructure many others um, that I just wanted to document and assemble into this one archive and then make sense of, which happened about a year into my um, speculative shooting. I wanted to show um, a perspective of um, an insider, you know, and uh, within this everyday life and the presence of climate change um, and rising seas in, um, in this mundane, um, everyday experience. It is an ongoing project, um, but I work with um, several um, approaches simultaneously and within several um, series. Um, so there are multiple projects that I'm working on. Flood Zone is one of them. So in terms of the design of my exhibitions, um, I studied environmental design. Um, and so I very much think spatially and sort of um, focus on the wall when I think of my images. So I'm an exhibition maker and I aim to create an immersive space that reflects my first impression of those places that I have photographed and presented in these images. The intense um, pink and then the swampy green uh, in the exhibition space, um, in my eyes, are very much reflective of the environment I'm in daily. Um, so that was that was the premise. And right now we are um, we are in the second week of this completely unprovoked and appalling violence that. Um, has been unleashed on the Ukrainian people by Putin's regime. Um, it is too close to home for me, even though I no longer live in Russia. I was born there. I live in the United States. Um, Ukraine is an independent country that is fighting for its freedom right now. Um, and if anything, in my work, what I'm trying to communicate is that the world cannot go on as usual, depending on fossil fuels like we do right now. This is at the culprit of this violence uh, and it's only going to get worse. So I want to make my position clear on that.